Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, welcome to another side-by-side -side comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0 and the iPad Mini. Now, in the world of smaller tablets, so non-10-inch tablets, both of these are at their lowest price points. However, the price point's obviously different coming in at $330 compared to the one uh, to the $200 price point on the Samsung. So uh, both start at different price points, but is the price difference going to be more uh, worth it for the iPad mini? That's what we're here to find out today. Let's take a look through our categories and see which one is the best tablet for you. Now on the look and feel department, both tablets exhibit kind of the company's ways of how they do things on their phones. So let's take a look at them. So for the look and feel of the iPad mini, um, you have a nice uh, feeling. Uh, I'm not sure what this really is. I really wouldn't call it metal per se. It just has a very soft touch coating, um, which really uh, feels, uh, feels nice. Um, when it comes to the edges, I feel they're a bit too, um, Unlike the iPad, I could still normally touch the buttons on the side very easily. On the iPad mini, I feel that uh, it's too far to the rear, or just a slightly, like, I don't know if it's like less than a millimeter, but it just feels like it's slightly too much to the rear, so I, I often find myself trying to push it, and I really have to lift it off um, any kind of surface that I have it on to really uh, be able to do the, uh, to uh, use the volume rocker. Um, however, in terms of uh, lightness, it's very light, very thin, and uh, very sleek. So, when it comes to the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0, it's uh, gone to its uh, very traditional style of Samsung. Uh, very plasticky fingerprint, um, shiny as all heck. I wish it was so, I just wish it was matte. Uh, it just, like I wouldn't, I would, I would have loved this tablet if it was matte, it would win this category for me, uh, but this, um, the material isn't too bad, but just the, it's so shiny, it's so uh, fingerprint prone, and I just really dislike that. I would say that uh, seven inch is obviously very uh, much easier to hold in the hand uh, comparing to a, what, um, I forgot off the top of my head right now, uh, 7.9 inch uh, tablet. It's definitely a lot easier. The uh, rounded edges make it uh, a lot easier to hold, even one-handed to compare to the iPad mini. Um, just the rounded edges are a bit better and very easy to push the buttons. Uh, other than that though, I have to hand it to the iPad mini for the look and feel department. Uh, just bitter materials for overall uh, and the look of it definitely uh, stands out a bit more. So let's go on to the next category. Now when it comes to web browsing, these two tablets um, each have their own benefit to them, but uh, let's go through the overall uh, benefits of both. So let's load uh, both of them, and one, two, three. And this is a very heavy website, so um, we'll see how each one does. For the iPad, I noticed the blue does load, but it doesn't always load everything until it keeps uh, that done. And now that one's done. So uh, one thing about the iPad, it does do a better job of keeping uh, the cache on the web browser. On uh, several tests I've done with both of these, um, and it's a new website, the Samsung will win, but if it's a website you go to repeatedly, the iPad will win. So uh, both have their merits when it comes to that. When it comes to uh, scrolling, both do a very good job. Um, however, uh, as we can see, both do a little artifacting when it's a part of the section that they haven't gone to yet. They both kind of take a second before everything uh, loads thereafter. Again, if the iPad mini does not have it in its cache, um, just basically the saved part of the browser, it's going to take a little bit longer than the Samsung, and if the Samsung um, is on the same website where the iPad mini has already been on, the iPad mini will go faster, so both have a little bit different. Um, I must say though, uh, the iPad mini is not as uh, fluid on scrolling in comparison uh, to uh, other, its counterparts like the iPad, uh, just it tends to run a lot smoother on those. 
Now in terms of uh, double tap, okay, sorry about that, let's try that again. I'm not sure if it's just this iPad mini, but it's been having a lot of issues with touch screen lately. Um, I do it with the other hand to see if it's my hand messing up with it. Let's try it again. So uh, kind of interesting thing right there. Um, the Samsung tends to go in quicker and uh, does a better job of uh, clearing the text uh, compared to the iPad mini. Um, however, um, when going back, uh, you can see the Samsung has a little bit longer time on artifacting uh, compared to the iPad mini on going back. So I think that's kind of interesting. Again, not sure why that one, this has been having issues with the touch screen on this one. Um, other than that, on pinch to zoom, they're uh, both really uh, good response. Oops, we just call, saw kind of a hiccup there with the uh, Samsung. Oh. Look at that. That's interesting. That hadn't happened uh, in, I always do lots of test runs before. And of course, always when we end up going, sometimes they're different. Uh, overall though, when I've seen them, uh, for the most part, um, they both do pretty much on par with uh, pinch to zoom. Uh, on double tap, um, when you go in, the Samsung's better, but then the iPad mini is better going out. Again, loading web pages, the Samsung does a better job on a new page, it always loads quicker than the iPad mini, however, the iPad mini uh, tends to load uh, uh, pages you've been on uh, constantly. Um, so overall, they're very similar. Now, their resolution plays a factor into this, obviously. Obviously, you have a bigger screen with the iPad mini, but that doesn't necessarily mean everything. Um, as we can see on this web page, for instance, web pages are geared uh, towards a 16 by 9 ratio, not a 4 by 3 ratio. So as we can see, we can see more of the web page on here than you can on here, um, especially when we go all the way to the top. Uh, it's very, very apparent. Uh, so because of that, web pages just load a lot better. Uh, look uh, like they're more made for the Samsung. Um, as well as when it comes to screen resolution, neither tablet's gonna be that great. Uh, both of these tablets have a display um, that is not the best, uh, but because yeah, um, the iPad barely beats the Galaxy, at, uh, both are 1024, but this one's by 768, I believe, and this one's by uh, 628, I believe, I wanna say, or maybe 600. Um, so resolutions are both not great on either of them, but because this device is smaller, text tends to go a little bit clearer, uh, but not by much again. So let me try to zoom in uh, by just getting these two texts. And then I can show you approximately how good each one does with text. So um, I, obviously I'm a little bit more zoomed in on the iPad mini, again, just because of aspect ratio. But um, as we can see, when it's a little bit further zoomed out, you can kind of just see text a little bit better on the Samsung compared to the iPad mini. Um, so overall web browsing, I will give it to the Samsung. Um, although they're comparable, the fact that you can still put Flash on Android uh, by side loading it just gives um, always Android a bit of the edge uh, when they're pretty much on par. So for this one, I am going to give it to the Samsung for web browsing. Now when it comes to music, uh, we kind of had an interesting thing happen. So I'll show you guys now, playing the same song, uh, first you'll hear from the iPad mini, then I'll switch to the uh, Samsung Tab 3 and back and forth. Okay, let's go, one, two, three.
Okay, so don't know, of course, I always uh, use discretion. Not sure if you were able to hear that through the speaker or through the camcorder. Uh, here in the studio and also when I've uh, given it to several people, uh, both iPad users and, uh, and uh, Android users. Um, overall, this is what uh, was kind of decided. Uh, this one uh, is a bit clearer um, at the loudest setting. However, this one overall does give a louder sound. Um, I know I usually just give it to the louder sound one um, just because uh, all the comments I've always gotten have always leaned towards the louder sound. However, in this case, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is just call this one a tie. Uh, both are pretty much on par with each other when it comes to sound. Uh, both have uh, stereo speakers that are on the bottom that aren't in the ideal positions. Um, you know, I feel front uh, stereo speakers are the best. However, if anything else, you could at least have them uh, on the upper side um, away from each other, not on the same side. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, so overall for sound, you're going to pretty much get music quality out of both of them being the same. Uh, so when it comes to music, either one's going to be good. Now, when it comes to cameras, um, I am not a fan of using tablets uh, and their cameras, but a lot of my friends do, so I'm going to give in and go over the camera. Um, both cameras are uh, okay. They're not gonna be the best quality. However, uh, the iPad mini uh, will take it overall for um, the uh, specs wise, first of all, where you have a uh, five megapixel rear camera um, as opposed to the 3 megapixel on the Samsung and on the front side, however, um, they're pretty much the same uh, as we'll go over in the photo. Uh, 1.3 on here and 1.2 on here. Uh, again, very minuscule difference. So uh, let's go over both photos and see how they look. So first we're going to go over with the rear camera. So as we can see um, on the rear camera, uh, when it comes to color reproduction, these two are actually the closest I've ever seen on uh, two different devices. Generally, one has a, a lot different tone compared to the other, but these really, really do seem to kind of have, exhibit the same kind of color. Um, however, when it comes to clarity, just looking at the Google, you can already see from zoomed out all the way that this is clear, but as soon as we even zoom in a little bit, um, it becomes a lot more apparent how much clearer uh, the Google is um, on the uh, iPad mini. So it just does not have as good um, of a color and clear, or color same, but clarity definitely goes to the iPad mini, and it should, it's a five megapixel. However, when we go to the 1.3 versus 1.2, um, it's different. Um, I wouldn't say one is better than the other. They both exhibit kind of uh, just different tone and color. Um, this tends to uh, filter out the light uh, that was uh, shining on my face a little bit better. Um, however, the clarity on both is pretty much the same. Um, uh, for a camera, front camera, either one is going to do about the same on uh, chatting. However, when it comes to the uh, rear camera, the iPad mini is going to take it for uh, just the far superior clarity. So if you're planning on using the rear camera a lot, uh, the iPad mini would be better. Now when it comes to gaming, um, it's going to be an interesting uh, comparison because neither one of these are that great for gaming to be honest. Um, both uh, tend to not do very well with intense games. but. Um, overall, I will give it to the iPad uh, Mini simply for the fact that um, at least you have 16 gigs of storage so you can store a lot more uh, games inside of this device as where with the Samsung because it has only 8 gigs of storage and you can't really uh, save games to the SD card anymore unless rooting and all that kind of fun stuff, um, you're not going to be able to fit that many high-end games on here. Uh, overall, they both kind of play games pretty similarly, you know, good, but uh, if you're talking high-end games, it's uh, just by comparison to their 10-inch uh, counterparts, you're going to get a lot better uh, gameplay on those. 
So um, just because of better graphics cards. So comparing these two, um, I would give it to the iPad mini, uh, but I wouldn't really make, recommend uh, either for high-end gaming, but for you know small games and all that, both will do fine. Now when it comes to battery life, well, this one's uh, kind of interesting and kind of symbolic by their battery life right now. Uh, both have been running actually about the same time um, for the most part. And uh, generally this is what happens. Uh, the Samsung typically has a bit of a better battery life compared to the iPad mini. Um, it just uh, tends to run a little bit better on battery life um, overall. Um, when using both devices. Now their standby time um, definitely though easily goes to the Samsung. Uh, when it comes to standby time and actually not using the product, um, you definitely get a much better standby time on the Samsung uh, as where I could use it not for days and it'll be at 100% or 99% um, if I have like, had Wi-Fi off and uh, on both of these devices the iPad mini will still tend to kind of drain. Um, when you have Wi-Fi on on both of them, uh, again, you'll see a difference if you have it on both for the day. Uh, the iPad will typically run down about, um, I would say 85 to 80%, whereas the Samsung Galaxy Tab will be at like 95%. So overall, um, I would tend to lean towards the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab if you do want a longer battery life. Uh, both are not, I would say, um, the best for heavy users, uh, you're going to only get about um, possibly anywhere from five to seven hours as a heavy user. Um, however, if you use it here and there, uh, you'll definitely get about a day out of uh, both of them. Uh, but always um, the Samsung tends to run a lot better uh, when it comes to battery life. So it'll go overall to the Samsung. Now when it comes to extras, this is going to be pretty obvious. Um, the Apple uh, iPad mini doesn't have any extras. You really don't have any extras. You have a lightning port and that's about it. After that, you have to basically buy accessories. Um, now, whereas the Samsung uh, does have a couple of things uh, that are built in, uh, namely one, of course, the micro SD card slot. So you can add up to 64 gigs of, uh, built, uh, of storage to this device. You also on the other side have an IR blaster, so this can be used as a TV remote. Uh, you can control all of your uh, TV, cable box, direct TV, um, you know, Blu-rays, uh, media devices, all those kind of things, even an Apple TV from this. So um, it's really uh, has some nice extras as well as when it comes to uh, software. You also have Polaris Office that comes free with this, which to get the counterpart on Apple, you have to pay about 30 bucks to get iWork. Um, so a lot when it comes to the extra department, of course, um, as typical, uh, generally you get more with Android and especially with Samsung. So overall, in terms of extras, it will go to the Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. Now, when it comes to these two tablets, uh, the price point is going to be an obvious difference. Uh, the Samsung starts in a uh, great price point at $199, uh, definitely probably the best uh, $200 under tablet out there on the market. Uh, and with the iPad mini, you get uh, it at $329. Now, when it comes to best bang for your buck, um, you do have, of course, eight gigs with this one, whereas you have 16 gigs on this one. And as we talked about earlier, you do have a bit better uh, rear camera on this one and a bit bigger screen. So um, when it comes to the overall, is that worth $130? That really does depend on the user, but as for best bang for your buck, most users that are gonna be using this can still do everything on this one. Therefore, for the best bang for your buck, uh, price point will go to the Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. All right, now let's tally the results and see where we wind it up. Now when it comes to look and feel, the iPad mini will take it. Just uh, overall better uh, look and style and I really am getting tired of the uh, glossy plastic on the Samsung tablets. When it comes to web browsing, overall they're very similar, but the Galaxy Tab 3 has a slight edge 
uh, simply for the fact of um, being able to have Adobe Flash on there. And overall, there, it's slightly better overall on uh, both of their shortcomings. Uh, when it comes to music, it will go to a draw, actually. Uh, overall, the iPad Mini sounds a little bit clearer at the loudest, but yet it is uh, the Galaxy Tab 3 is a little bit louder. Um, on this one, it was just so close that overall um, I gave it a tie. It just it was so close. Uh, when it comes to movies, the Galaxy Tab 3 even beats the iPad Mini, even though the smaller screen, uh, because of its aspect ratio, it's just overall going to be better for watching movies on there. As we saw, the screen kind of lines up with the 7.9 inch when it comes to the actual movie playing, and it definitely is clearer. When it comes to the camera, uh, it will go to the iPad mini, just a better uh, rear camera, and the front cameras are pretty much similar, so it will go overall to the iPad mini for the photo taking on, uh, with the tablet. Gaming, it will go to the iPad mini, just a bit, built, uh, bit better built-in uh, storage, and a bit better uh, for um, higher-end games, tends to like a little bit less, although neither are recommended for high-end games. Battery life, it will go to uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. Overall, it just always has a longer battery life, uh, tends to outlast uh, the iPad mini, typically by an hour. Um, at the end of the day, it'll uh, last about an hour. So not dramatically different, but if you are concerned about battery life, the uh, Tab 3 will be the better bet. Extras, we'll go to also the Galaxy Tab 3. You just have, of course, more extras built in. You have an IR blaster, uh, office built in, and uh, of course a micro SD card to expand the storage. Overall, the extras have to go to the Samsung. And price point. Price point will go to the 199 Galaxy Tab 3 compared to the 329 iPad mini. So our conclusion, the Galaxy Tab 3 does take it um, in a, four, um, in a five to three um, ending uh, with a one draw. So, um, which one should you get? Well, that's really up to you. Overall, um, if you're looking for a better look and feel and take photos of your camera and good music, it would be the iPad mini. However, if you're looking for um, just a bit better when it comes to battery life, watching movies, have a lot of extras for a much lower price point, then you will go to the Gas Tab 3. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you found this video informative. Please give it a like and thumbs up at the bottom and leave uh, some fun comments down below. Thank you for watching. This has been RICKY, the Android guy.